Hey everyone, today I want to just bring you a quick review of this newer lapel mic. Uh, I got this from Amazon and to my surprise it comes with 10 mics. I thought I was only getting one and it was only $17 for 10 mics, so under $2 for one mic. And I'm, It's a very simple device, uh, it just comes with the mic, a basic foam cover on top. This is what it looks like. and it comes with a tiny clip that you can attach to it and you just take the mic slide the clip over like this and that's about it and the mic itself right now i'm recording this video with the mic so later on i will take take it off and show you what it sounds like just on the built-in dslr so this is called a TRS port, um, which is only two sort of black lines. So this will work with your DSLRs that have a dedicated mic port, and it will work with your computers that have two ports, both microphone and headphone. This will not work with a smartphone. For a smartphone, you need a TRRS microphone, which will have a microphone and a headphone. It will have three black lines. Um, so I'm recording this on a Canon T4i and I have it set to manual audio and the manual audio is about there's four markers and this is between right in the middle of marker one and two which is where I find it to be proper uh, audio gain so I'm going to grab the mic it's gonna get a little loud but I'm gonna grab it off of my shirt and put it next in front of you and then we'll go silent so I'm this is the mic that's actually plugged in now and I'm talking and I'm about um, maybe 18 inches away so you can tell what that sounds like and I'm going to go silent to see what it sounds like Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea of what the mic sounds like when it is silent. Um, do in, keep in mind that my audio levels, as I mentioned, are set manually. If you are going to leave it up to your camera to decide, then when you go silent, the camera preamp will try to make it uh, make the gain higher so that you know it can pick up whatever noise there might be. So you will get a lot more noisier signal. So you, if you're using an external mic, I recommend you read a little bit about just setting your mic gain to ma manually and that will help you get better audio so now i am going to play some music and uh, i'll keep it about six inches away from the camera i mean from the microphone and we'll see what it sounds like as i'm talking so this is just music on my phone and you can sort of see what how much background noise it will pick up my phone is at maximum i turned it up to 75 percent now and now i'm going to go quiet and see how much it picks up okay so i hope that that was a good test and the one final test i'm going to do is now is i'm going to unplug this mic and show you what the camera sounds like so you have a very good comparison so again the audio is set to manual but now it's the in microphone on the camera um, you know overall build quality of this mic is I would say it, it's worth the price that you're paying it's it's a two dollar mic with a two dollar build quality but you get 10 of them you can throw them in a couple extras in your bag and you get a very decent improvement in audio quality as you can probably tell from my video so i hope that this makes it easy for you to decide again remember these will not work with a smartphone thank you for watching